Hello. I, I'm having a lot of d- difficulty breathing. I've been having a lot of pain in my left leg. And now I've become very short of breath. This often happens when I get blood clots. I, I, I'm going to go to the emergency department. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hello, welcome to the emergency department. I arrived here a little while ago. They sent me through triage. And now I'm I'm back here in a room. Um, They decided to do some blood work to make sure I'm not having a heart attack. And they also ordered some other lab work and x-rays coming to do a chest x-ray to make sure I don't possibly have pneumonia. So that's a bit of an update. Bye bye for now. X-ray came and they did the X-ray. The technician said he did not see anything on the X-ray, so he thought I did not have pneumonia. Now we're just waiting for some of the lab results to come back and the doctor said he would update me and in a little bit. Bye. The doctor was just in and gave me some updates. First of all, my chest x-ray was clear. There is no indication of pneumonia. My white blood cell count is also normal, so there's no infection. The lab work for having a heart attack, that all came back as normal, so I'm not having a heart attack. He said there's a possibility I might be having blood clots. For that test, I need to do iodine, an iodine contrast for the CT scan. However, I'm allergic to iodine, so we we can't do that test. The doctor suggested I go to my primary care provider and have the primary care provider order a VQ scan. A VQ scan will show a mismatch between the ventilation and perfusion. And if that is mismatched, then I would have a blood clot in my lungs and we'd have to treat that accordingly. Since I have a history of blood clots, the emergency department doctor thought it's a good possibility I might have a blood clot But he also said, because I'm on Eliquis, which is a blood thinner, the possibility of actually having a blood clot is very, very low because I'm already on blood thinners. So he was not very concerned and said, the probability of me having a blood clot is very, very small. And it's nothing to be concerned about because I'm on blood thinners and The blood clots, if I have them, should not get any worse as long as I continue to take the Eliquis. So that's an update here in the emergency department. It looks like I'm going to be sent home. And unfortunately, I cannot follow up with my primary care provider because I recently found out the clinic where my primary care provider works closed and all the primary care providers have more or less left the area. 
there are two that are still in the area. However, the one has not set up the private practice yet, so he's not seen anybody. And the other medical provider is switching to a different clinic, and she needs to get everything set up there and get her office open. So I have an appointment in a couple weeks, but again, it's nothing soon because she has to switch clinics. So in the meantime, it looks like I'm just going to going to go home and I'm just going to have to work the, through these blood clots. And I was told if it gets any worse, I'm always free to come back here to the emergency department. But I should really go to my primary care provider first to get a plan of action from the doctor that way. So thank you so much for joining me here in the emergency department. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.